Hi everyone, it's Amanda here. This is my channel, Amanda Random, and I am going to do a quick unboxing of the Jane Davenport Magical Wands or Magic Wands. Um, I love all of Jane's products. Like, I love them and I keep hoarding them and instead I was like, you know what? I am done. I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump in and use these finally. And of course, knowing me, I couldn't just throw the package away because Jane had a really pretty image on the back. So I cut that out, as you see me doing here, because I was going to use this for either in a junk journal or something. But I never throw away packaging, especially beautiful packaging. And everything Jane has has just like the prettiest packaging. So I'm just jumping into unwrapping this tin. And it is obviously like a beautiful tin and it has so many pretty colors in it and I've gotten to use the colors before I just never opened up my own I used a friend's <laughs> um and this tin is it's really sturdy it keeps everything where it's supposed to be and the aha moment let's open it boom look at that like beautiful beautiful pencils. Um, she does give each one its own specific name. She usually does that for all of her products. So each color has its own um, name or title. And I just, oh, I love her products. Like I cannot stress enough how much I love Jane's products. Um, you can find them in the United States here. Um, I did see that they're on walmart.com. So you can order them off of Walmart and any Michaels has them. And let me tell you, all of her products are worth it. So right here, you see me grab this piece of watercolored paper. And this is just a regular piece of printer paper that my daughter had colored on. Um, I should say painted with some paints for me and I'm just going to kind of do a little swatch on the back of the colors and you guys the colors are so like you can make them so light and shade them to so dark and they just have such vibrancy that it's oh I love them um I am doing a voiceover for this video so I don't know um I don't even know if I showed you that first, the name on that first one. What was I doing? I think it was Emerald, actually. Is that what it was? I can't, I can't see. Yep, it was Emerald. So that first one that I did was uh, called Emerald. And the second one here is... I can't I can't even tell what that one was. I'll put the I'll put the description or maybe I can pop up with the color name on the video once I'm done editing this and doing the voiceover. But I've never done like a swatch test like this from this high above my desk before. It's kind of a new setup and I I couldn't even tell if I was like in frame for some of these colors or not, so I I do apologize, but like I said, I will definitely leave all of the um, names of them if you want um, somewhere in this video or at the very end. Uh, this one you can see is called Egg Yolk. <laughs> but look at those yellow, like the yellow that I just did prior. It is so bright and so just vibrant. And I don't know, every time I get out colored pencils, I feel like a little kid and I'm just like, yay, let's do this. This one was called Highlight, and in this too, there's a lot of good skin tones that you could use to make um, if you're drawing faces or anything like that and you want to color them in. So I really like that about this whole palette of colors that she had. There's just so many that you can use um, for different little projects. And at the end of this swatch test... Um, I do on the opposite side of this little page, um, just doodle out a little girl, a little face, and, and instead of sitting here and going on and on about nothing, because I can't even tell 
like I said, I apologize that I didn't put the exact colors up, but I'm going to add some music probably from this point forward until the end, and then I will pop back on and kind of just talk about my overall love for these pencils. Um, so that was the full spectrum of the colors and can't get enough of them. Absolutely love them. And um, no judging here, but I just flipped that piece of paper over that my daughter, um, you can see now she just did a bunch of um, water painting color on top of it for me to put in one of my journals. So um I didn't want to lose this piece of paper, so after I did kind of some of the swatching of the colors on the back, I just decided I was going to draw a, a girl's face or something quick. And once again, I apologize for being out of frame because, like I said, this was, this was a new setup on my desk, and I should have looked better. Um, I do move it up a little more, but you're really not missing nothing. It's just me kind of drawing out some lines so that I could draw um, a quick sketch of a girl. And I just wanted something um, on that back page of the paper so that I could tape this into my Fobonichi. And if you guys want to know what a Fobonichi journal is, I'll put an iCard up at the top up here. And you can click on that and it'll take you to um, my playlist of all of my journaling in my Fobonichi and how fun and amazing those books themselves can seriously be. And a quick overview of what a Fobonichi is, is basically it's a journal, but you can draw in it, you doodle in it, you can, you know, um, paint in it, you can add pictures, you can fill it up with washi, and you just do like you can do in-depth journaling if you want. You can just take one day and be like, here's my receipt from the gas station today and um, tape that into that page and be like, yep, <laughs> that's what I did today. Um, went to the gas station. You know, you can keep um, different ephemera, different memorabilia things that you collect throughout the day. And it could be as simple as, like I said, a receipt or you know, your kid bringing home a good grade on a spelling test. And it's just a little memory keeper book. And it's a journal. It's a diary. It's a notepad. It's a, it's a drawing book. It's a sketchbook. It's 
my last statement always is it's anything you want it to be because it's yours. So that is definitely um, worth checking out if you're interested in it because I love having accounts of my days. I love journaling, period. And it's something I've always done since I was really little. So it's definitely something that works for me and that I truly love doing. So here you can see I'm just playing with, um, I can't remember what color that one was right off bat, but I just grabbed some of the magic wands and I just decided I'm going to, like I said, doodle this girl's face quick. And I don't like how she ends up really turning out, but at least you get to see, you know, the magic wands being used in more than just kind of like a swatch test and, and whatnot. So, um... I'm still working on figuring out how to draw, how to draw period, I guess, <laughs> but especially how to draw different types of faces and, and things like that. Um, I by no means think that I am a creative or person or a really good drawer. So, um, like I said, tread lightly here, guys. Don't, uh, don't pick on me too much about this, but I'm just drawing and I use some other colors just so you guys do know here towards the end. So, um, I honestly, I don't know what it is, but Jane Davenport products just make me happy. And I don't, I don't even, you know, it's not like I'm not getting paid to say that and anybody that's used her her mixed media range of products knows that you don't need to be paid to say that because it's just true. Like my first things I want to reach for, if I'm doing any type of art, I want to grab Jane Davenport products. <laughs> um, so they, they're truly worth looking into if you haven't already. And that's just my honest opinion. <clears throat> And here I'm just trying to do some hair, which I am horrible at, but, you know, maybe one day. <laughs> maybe one day it'll get better. So until then, I'm just going to keep practicing. Um, I've watched a bunch of tutorials online about drawing faces. There's some great YouTubers out there that share their knowledge and how they do it and things like that. And, um... There's also Jane Davenport's books, like, uh, she teaches how to make elegant faces, and she just came out with a new book that I'm like, I am just jonesing to get. I have to get this book. So, <clears throat> excuse me. All right, you guys, so this is where I'm just going to speed the video up a little bit and um, play some more music and it'll show you through to the very end. There's not much left. Um, and then I'll show you my little drawing and I hope that you guys seriously go out and get you uh, yourself some of Jane Davenport products because you will not be upset. So that is all for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and give us a like on here so we know that you like these kind of videos. All right, you guys. Hope all is well. Bye.